Mm. That's the one I want. Well, I'm back out here in the outdoors. The great outdoors. And I'm in, you guessed it, the southwest. <laughs> My favourite place. Load up my little map here. Here we are. This is where I am. I'm back in the Cape region. I'm here in Contos, Contos Campground. I've got myself two nights here. Tonight, tomorrow night. I'm just gonna have a play around this little area in here, really. Right on the coast, right on the beach here. There's some spectacular driving along this coastline. A couple little tracks that take you down to it as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick my own adventure, pretty much. Nothing too serious. I've got a couple of days free this week. Got a big job done. And I've taken the rest of the week off. And this is how I want to spend it. It's still quite early. It's not quite noon yet. So I think I'll set my swag up. Uh, and then I'll jump in the car and just go for a bit of a drive. Now, your swag ain't going to set itself up. There's one spot in particular that I've been wanting to go and check out for a while now. And it's an area that had been significantly damaged by the fire that came through. Oh, when was it? 15 months ago or so. It's actually the campground. It's the Point Road. Point Road campground. So I want to get in there and, and have a look because I know the track's open from the southern end. I'm at the, op the opposite end, the northern end here now. So I want to get in there and just have a little look because yeah, they've been fairly affected, fairly decimated, destroyed, totally. So I wouldn't mind going in and having a look. So this is Conto Road. Some of the worst corrugations I'll ever drive is always on this road every time for as long as I've been driving this area. The corrugations out here have always been utterly horrendous. So, we take it easy on it. Oh, God. Stunning views. Saw two wheel drive through here, it's just a limestone, limestone road. It's all rocky coast through here, all granite. Yeah, it's very nice. Track is open, so I lock the hubs and go and have a look. It's a bit eerie now. You pop out from all the black boys and acacias into the forest, chew at trees and carry trees. And yet, it, it used to be big, tall, thick trees with a big, beautiful green canopy. Now the canopy's gone and you driving through the, like this really big thick green understory of wild bush because all well, the canopy's just gone.
Yeah, it's looking pretty miserable in here now. It's all just wildly overgrown and yeah, what a pity. It's pretty sad to see. Fire definitely did a number on it. I wonder if it'll ever come back. I don't know. It was a good spot because it was full drive in and out each way from the south and the north. It was a good little spot. It was one of my little favourites. It's totally, totally overgrown. And I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with it. It's a bit sad. Just carrying on south now on Point Road. Heading towards Brian Up Drive. See where I'm going to point it from there. I'm on a track now called Holy Holy Road. This is westbound heading towards the coast. Fun little track. It's getting a bit late in the Arvo so with the sun setting it might be rather nice out there. Pretty stunning, isn't it? Got the whole place to myself. <laughs> Well, I've come back from Point Road onto Conto Road. I've pulled up here into this spot, Round Rock, I think it's called. Absolutely charming. Look at this. I think I'll just hang about here for a while, pull a chair out, fix up some tea, watch that sunset on the water, and I'll slowly mosey my way back to camp and crawl in my swag. Just telling Kelly how nice today's been. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. Softy. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Get some tucker going. Just a couple of side rolls I reckon so right, nice and easy. Great end to a great day. I think it's time to pull up a chair.